Alrighty, this video is more planting prep kind of. It's more of like the backyard plus rock picking plus the vacuum planter and then some like miscellaneous information that just goes along with those things. So um, after this video, I'll be posting probably the irrigation video and then soil sampling. And then when school is over in next Friday, I graduate. Ah, that's so scary. Um, I'll be doing buddy seat interviews on the weekends during the summer. So I'm super looking forward to that. If you have anyone that you recommend, then send them my way and I will, I am literally so pumped for those. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had some fun making it and uh, it was good to get planting finished, so. Duke, come here. Guys, we planted our first field uh, yesterday. So today is the sixth. We planted it, no, not yesterday, the day before. I forgot. But we planted in the backyard and I'll show you what it looks like. Last year, this was all drip irrigated. It's where we ran our test plots and some other things. And we like tried around with some cover crop and what kind of nutrients and beneficial insects those brought to our fields. So here it is. Uh, this year we broadcast planted it with a fertilizer spreader. Um, and we're putting corrugated pipe in here. So it'll run along the top of this and then run through these little furrows um, down the line to irrigate and then it will be growing a variety of varieties so there's more than one variety in this field we're not doing much with it this year because um we were just told to broadcast plant and then um it's gonna do its thing so i'll keep you guys updated on that more but it was perfect because we planted after we sprayed the sauna land um that got worked in with the rain that came yesterday. Well, snow, because it's Idaho and it was 70 degrees one day and then um, 30 the next, so good stuff. So this next section of video is the rock picking with CSI. Uh, this field used to be a construction dump ground for one of the uh, roads that was built right off campus. And so there's like a section of that field. We're basically just planting peas in it to uh, boost the soil health and put a lot of organic matter back into that soil. So it'll like turn into something more than moon dust and construction dump ground crap. And uh, the rocks were decent size. They weren't ginormous, but some of them were. And I just added the clips in so you could see the assortment of sizes of rocks that we pulled out. And then just that it doesn't have to be boring to pick rocks with people that are fun to be around sometimes um <laughs> uh, so it wasn't too bad and we planted on friday so it was good that we picked the rocks before then because if we hadn't it would have caused damage to the planter that we used and uh you could already tell even with some of the smaller rocks that were left in the field that it would hit the coulters when we were going a little too fast and the whole thing would just bounce and it was bad so good stuff pick your rocks have fun that's about yeah. it. We're picking rock. How's that? We're school. doing. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so it, pretty much uh, free, free labor. <laughs> <laughs> we pay them so we can pick rock. Yep. Right, Tell. Whoa. What? We pay people in school so we can pick rock for free. Yeah. Yeah, but at least we don't have to write two-page paper. We pick <laughs> rock so the rocks don't cause problems for equipment, and we can grow plants. I would like to not plant that little piece. Where I'd say it's prime conditions well, for hey, planting. Yeah. Okay. Windmill is bad boy. We're not. Oh, <laughs> Y'all do good? Someone put him as close to that as you can get. So, wait. Oh. There? Yeah. Sun don't go there. Heck yeah. Look at all those rocks. Look at those big berthas. Hard work. <laughs> big berthas. Sweat, blood, and tears. <laughs> So for planting with the vacuum planter, we're gonna have this planter go in front of us with some row cleaners on it because we can't have the vacuum planter get plugged up with uh, root balls of corn. And those look like, So these are all over the field and they're gonna plug up our planter. So we're trying to see if the row cleaners will help clean it out so we don't have problems with the vacuum planter. Here's what the row cleaners look like. It's basically just an attachment on the front of the planter. 
put the row cleaners on this side. You can tell the difference. It like shoves the soil and all the materials into the middle and onto the side because over there it looks different. So our vacuum planter is going to put the rows right here and hopefully yeah. this will work. Alright, so we're going to try planting today. So I'll explain what this other vacuum planter is like. Um, someone sits right here. That's the tractor up there. And you have your seed box right here. Your other seed box is right here with little envelopes in it. You dump the seed in these and with the hydraulics it gets sucked up into those holes. The wheels roll that. This rolls into the ground and then the seed is planted like the other planter. Um, through right there has the little... yeah. So that's how that planter works. Alright, caution, safety stuff. We use earplugs because that is really loud. So if you want to hear for the rest of the day, you got to put earplugs in. So this is how we adjust seating depth on this planter. We just basically adjust where the wheels fall and how much pressure they're putting down. So here's the seed getting sucked up into those little holes to get planted. These wheels keep turning and just sucking up seed so it can roll around and get planted in the ground. I'll explain it a little more in the planter explanation video, but the like planter boxes basically just vibrate enough that it grabs the seed and pulls it up. And then here's a video of the seed actually going into the ground, just so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, here's a little time lapse to show you what I'm doing on the back of the planter while we are planting. I basically tear envelopes open, make sure everything is lined up and ready to go, make sure wheels are turning and recording what row what is in, putting stakes down. Um, it looks really fast, but it's super slow. I have another video from Brandon that I'll probably attach just to so show you like how slow we're actually going and then we just adjust and do what we need to. So here's how painfully slow the planter is actually going. Um, and then right here I'm about to dump out the seed in that other container so that they finish at the same time. But that's basically like the time lapse made it seem like I was doing a lot at the same time, but it's super slow. We did not quite finish that um, three acre field yesterday. We had a partial row, so we're gonna fill it and then do some more rows of more varieties that we just planned last night to this morning. So should be good. I'll explain how the planter works, all the bells and whistles, because I know some of y'all like that stuff. So I'll do my best to explain um, our little custom vacuum planter and then get this uploaded. So breaking down the planter, um, these little, that's the main power line that turns on the electricity to vibrate those. The Wawa bar is that button on the bottom basically increases vibration or cuts it down so we can adjust it. And then that button makes the noise in the cab to alert the driver. And then this button is connected to that water pump, which sprays a little water where the seed starts going into the ground. So we know where to put the stakes down. And then there's a trash bucket and the hydraulics are over there. And that's about it. Alrighty, that is all I have for this video. The next video will most likely be a irrigation video because that's what I have to do for class. I get to make a video instead of write a paper. How cool is that? Shout out to Jasa for being the best professor at CSI named Jasa. Oh, <laughs> um, yes, so I appreciate you guys for tagging along and all the feedback you give me and it's just it makes it so great and so fun to like just share what I love doing. So till next time.